Okay, um, have a listen to this bass part. You'll hear that it's tinny, twangy, and has no bottom end. And so on. So I'm going to manufacture a MIDI part uh, that's going to add the bottom end that's necessary. Okay, I'm going to use audio to score uh, to do that. First of all, I need to add myself a MIDI track, a software instrument track. Um, do no need to open a library. Okay. I'm going to position it just underneath the audio track. Okay, so next stage, double click the audio region to open the sample editor. And then go to the local factory menu and choose audio to score. Uh, there are parameters which you can experiment with here. I'm going to use the preset called Guitar Picked. Click Process. And it creates a MIDI part and opens that in the score editor. Um, the original bass part, he was playing C's and F's. And you can see here that it's actually created C sharps and F's. And the C sharp is actually probably at the wrong octave. There's also here. Uh, a little glitch note which I don't need. So I'm going to close the score editor and instead I'm going to open the piano roll editor to do some editing. I'm going to take out the glitch note and I'm going to select all those C sharps and I'm going to move them down an octave plus a semitone to the correct note at the correct octave. So audio to score is usually okay, uh, makes a few mistakes with the pitch I've found. So as long as you know what the original pitches are supposed to be, you should be okay. Um, interestingly, it's created some rubbish at the end there, which I also don't need. Okay, close that editor. Now the sound I'm going to use to play uh, for this uh, track is going to be a sine tone. So I can easily get one of those by loading the EXS24 which, without loading any instrument into it, plays back a sign tone, just like all hardware samplers. Close that and have a listen. OK, so I'll solo that part so you can hear what the EXS24 is doing. OK, nice deep sign tone bass there. A um, little bit clicky at the ends of the notes, so I think back in the EXS24, I'll add a little bit of release onto the end. There we are, the notes are a bit smoother now. And the clicks have gone. Close that interface. Hear them together. Great. Now my twangy, tinny bass has got some decent bottom end. <laughs> 